For I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knoweth, because his sons made themselves vile, and he restrained them not. And therefore I have sworn unto the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be purged with sacrifice nor offering forever. This is reprobate right here. I mean, when he says, look, your sin and iniquity is not going to be purged with sacrifice or offering forever. And by the way, that's why the sons of Eli here that we're talking about, you know what the Bible calls them? Sons of Belial. It says that Eli's sons were sons of Belial, Belial, Baal, Beelzebub. We're talking about sons of the devil. What does that mean? They're the children of the wicked one. They are the tares among the wheat. They are infiltrators, Judas Iscariots, reprobates, haters of God, wicked, hard-hearted children of the devil. That's what these people were, okay, the sons of Eli. And so because Eli did not train them properly, he did not restrain them, he just allowed them to become vile, God brings this judgment upon the house of Eli that says your household is going to be punished. And this is that stream of the priesthood that's going to eventually get fired, that's going to eventually be kicked out from being a priest, and we're going to be left with Zadok, the righteous priest. That's who's going to be left. Now, what did Eli's sons do that was so bad? Well, the Bible tells us they were gluttonous, they stole from the church, and they also fornicated with the women that assembled themselves at the door of the tabernacle. They were using church as their own little hunting grounds to commit fornication. I mean, can you imagine anything more wicked? This is like what the Bible talks about in Revelation when it talks about Jezebel seducing God's servants to commit fornication and how they had known the depths of Satan. That's what the Bible called it. When someone would use church to steal or use church to commit fornication or use church to commit adultery, that is what is known as the depths of Satan. You see, the Bible said in Matthew 23, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer, therefore you shall receive the greater damnation. So why were the Pharisees to receive a greater damnation? Because they prayed as they devoured the widows' houses. See, devouring widows' houses is one thing, but when you for a pretense make long prayer, now you're going to receive a greater damnation. You see, fornication's wicked. But when you use church to commit fornication, that's the depths of Satan. When you're just fornicating with one after another in church, committing adultery with one after another in church, uh, anything that you use church to do, it becomes an aggravated crime in the eyes of God. An aggravated, I mean, look, stealing's wicked, amen? I mean, if you went down and, and stole from the liquor store, that's wicked. But what about if you stole from the offering plate? What if you stole from church? Now you've gotten to a super wicked level of sin, right? And when you're talking about committing fornication, it's wicked. But using church to troll for fornication or troll for adultery, now you've known the depths of Satan. So much worse, a greater condemnation for that sin. So these guys are very bad. That's why God's so angry. 